everybody I'm back for part two of this video if you watched my last video you know that I did my prompt draw and I drew three things I drew a three by five card gold foil flakes and a thank you card so that's what I'm working on now I started this video a while back and now I am finishing that up I am so sorry that I have been MIA I've had some crazy things going on in my life and I had to take an unexpected break but I am back and I'm ready to craft and make some YouTube videos so let's get into this so this is ready I think to be put onto a card I'm going to go ahead, I think, and work on this one. I think what I want to do, I'm trying to decide between maybe using this first mark pen along with the sticky embossing powder and writing thank you here or stamping or writing with white. I will say I do like the flex of the other colors that are in here. I just wish there were some more of them because it ends up looking like it's a mistake because on this whole thing there's a fleck of green there and a fleck of kind of a grayish green there and that's it and it just looks like I've made a mistake somehow. I'm using Paper Tray Ink Smoky Shadow ink here. Just gonna go around the edges just a little bit. I kind of like the way it looks now, just kind of messy and organic and just, yeah, um, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. It's almost like there's too much going on, so I think I'm going to cut them off. These are just some junk scissors that I had. So I'm on day three now of working on these cards, um, but I'm having a lot of fun making them. And these are exactly the kind of cards that I would not have made without my prompt straw. And I love that it encouraged me to try a product that I have on hand that I haven't even tried yet. How sad is that? that I've had these gold flakes sitting around for months and haven't used them. I'm not sure I put the wings on these birds correctly. I don't really want to go look because I'm going to feel really stupid if I did it wrong. Um, but I think it looks okay either way. All right, I'm trying to decide on this one. If I want to just adhere it down onto the screen card base, and leave it at that or if I want to maybe use a background stamp to add a little visual interest on here I think I can just go ahead and stamp it and then decide what I think um this is called leaves and berries and it's technically Christmas background stamp Go ahead and hear this, hear this down. Now, this is really curving. It's really not laying flat, and I want it to. So, I'm going to use the scoring tape, and um, this is really 
good strong adhesive and I'm gonna put a lot of it down and try to get as close to the edge as I can. I was gonna put it here, but the bird is looking off that way. So I'm wondering if I should put it here. I'm gonna go for here. I could do that. It's not reading well. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say it's not reading well on camera, but um, I could do that. I kind of like that. I wish I could ask you what you think. All right, I had to cut some things out because this video was getting crazy long and never intended it to be this long and include five cards. But let's go ahead and see what I've got here. I took um, this one and I mounted it onto this cardstock. Um, there, the light's catching it a little bit better. It's a brighter color than it sometimes catches on the camera. And um, I do like it. I'm kind of wishing maybe I had mounted it on a dark teal before putting it onto the card base. I didn't really want a super busy background because there's so much going on here. I think it needed something a little simple. All right. The next card is this one. I do like the way this one came out. I like the dark gray framing this picture. I think it kind of grounds that super busy background gives you a place for your eye to rest on the bird because it kind of ties it all in together. I think this one was overall a success. This one, I think the jury's still out. <laughs> um, I really do like the three by five card. Part of me wishes I just put a quote on there that I liked to put up on my wall. I'm not sure I like it on this more graphic style background. So I stamped this with Simon Says Stamp Leaves and Berries stamp set background stamp, which is actually a Christmas um, background stamp, but I think you can use it any time of the year. And, um, you know, because of context, it doesn't look like a Christmas card. Um, but I just don't know if that super kind of graphic clean style works with this busier focal point area so I don't know let me know what you think about this one I'm not entirely sure super fun to make not sure I love the card on this one I die cut this um, little coffee cup I inked the edges and um, die cut these stars from a paper tray ink cover plate that makes um, a whole background of stars like this that you can kind of punch out well, not kind of, but you can punch out, but every now and then I'll just use it to create stars to use as embellishments. So, um, you know, I'm pretty happy with this one. I don't love it per se, but I'm overall happy with it. And I gotta say, I think this one here is my favorite in its simplicity. Maybe it's because the other ones are so busy. I like this one because it feels a little more unified. Um, I simply took a pre-cut card base that I had and folded it and glued this down. So there's no sentiment or anything. Um, I like to have some cards like that on hand that don't have any sentiment just for a, you know, sometimes I just want to send cards to somebody for no reason at all, just to say hi. So um, yeah, I, I think this one is my favorite. Let me know in the comments what your favorite is, and um, I'd really love to see what you create using uh, metal leafing, 3x5 cards, and making a thank you card. Thanks for watching!